The way to play this is to play it. It is um, a relationship. It's deep. It's organic. It has a brain. My name is Suzanne Chani, and I am called the diva of the diode. I'm also uh, considered a pioneer in electronic music. I grew up as a classically trained musician, although I was self-taught on the piano. My passion was classical music. Uh, I studied classical music. I got a degree in composition, a master's degree. And just at that moment, I met Don Buchla. And that changed my life completely because I was immediately you know, transformed and excited about this new possibility. I can't explain exactly how that happened or why it happened, but I did go to work for him after graduate school and I helped build the machines and then I earned enough money to have one and then I took it to LA and then I took it to New York and I worked in film and television and I used it, you know, both to make a living but as my artistic tool. Uh, here I am 40 years later playing the bukla again. It's like riding a bicycle for me. The instrument is a slight bit different because uh, the 200 was what I played in the 60s and 70s. This is the 200E, so it has a lot of the concepts that Don Buchla had in his instrument designs from the beginning, but it also has a digital component. of this is that you can play it live so it's immediate it has an interface that allows you to interact in the moment to produce changes and compositions so you don't have to go with a mouse through a menu you don't you know there's nothing it, it's designed to be immediate and to transform your thoughts into into music and as you can see, it doesn't really, it doesn't have any traditional interface. So a lot of electronic instruments have, you know, they're, they're hybrids of either keyboard instruments or maybe guitars or MIDI instruments that communicate via an interface that's more traditional. The idea with this instrument is to get away from all of that because it doesn't make sense. If I hit a key here, I can do three things. I can start a sequence, stop another, transpose something. You know, my keyboard isn't a traditional keyboard. You start at the beginning, you look at what each module does because they're, they're different, you know. So, and then you, after you know what each one does, then you figure out how you want them to talk to each other. And that's the patch. <laughs> fundamental givens, you know, I call it the raw material, are my four sequences that are in this very compact sequencer. And from there I, I put them into this external input of, of this unit. Usually I start with, say, the sound of the ocean, because the ocean is very important to me. Uh, but this time I started with what I thought was ski, you know, ski sounds. <laughs> I have no idea if anybody related to it that way. And then um, I added a melody of a song that I'd written 40 years ago called a ski song. So it was from my very first album, Seven Waves. The fourth wave was the ski song. I improvised that melody against the, uh, you know, so it was something that I did, especially for this place. I have particular ways of working where I, I double gate things. 
because in a performance, you know, I don't want everything on all the time, you know, at the same level. So I take, say, a short pulse and I then put it through a slower shaped pulse. So there's always some kind of smooth, not in your face, whatever sound. Mm -hmm.